Well, it's a beautiful view here tonight on the Homewood Suites on the River camera view looking at downtown Savannah there. Pretty, pretty shot there, a little light pollution, but needless to say, a very nice evening across the board. This is also very nice. Actually, Jack Howison sends us photos every day, and this one, well, the Decorah Bald Eagle. Yeah, pretty, pretty picture of that bald eagle up there, and well, just kind of waiting on its little chicks to hatch. Now, if you have some uh, pictures to send us, yeah, send it to me. Uh, it's Scott Sumner WJCL at the Twitter or at my Facebook page, Scott Sumner WJCL 22. Love to see the pictures and I've slowly gotten a, a steady response, so that's good news. Keep it moving forward uh, in time. All right, now for tonight, uh, right now currently 68 degrees at Hilton Head, pretty mild out there, a very light breeze coming in off the water. If you're out at Hilton Head today for the RBC Heritage, you know how nice it was this afternoon. And going into this evening, Jessup is looking nice. Uh, Luisi, Hinesville, all into the lower 60s. Midway at 60 degrees right now. So pretty pleasant. And overall, you can see that we do have a lot of mild air across the country. Hard pressed, even, even Bangor, Maine, well, well up there at 53 degrees, which for them is a heat wave. But for us, that would be a little on the chilly side, a little nippy. But we're down into the 60s, like I said. So. We're not doing that bad, actually. High pressure off our coastline will kind of slowly sag across portions of Florida here, and I'll show you that in just a second. That's protecting us here in the southeast. However, these showers associated with a slow-moving cold front will be dropping on in, and you can see that front here on our surface map as it drops slowly in tomorrow. Now, tomorrow should be around the Charlotte area, Charlotte, North Carolina, so we're still going to remain dry. There's that high pressure I just talked about, and we'll have that kind of a south and south uh, west wind kicking in at times. And then the front gets close to us on uh, on uh, Tuesday and we'll have a 30% chance of seeing a thunder shower at that point in time. And as far as our rain forecast, we do ramp up the rain chances this week. 30% on Tuesday and Wednesday, 20% on Thursday and Friday. So it means a slight chance of seeing a passing shower during the course of the evening hours. Now overnight tonight though, quiet conditions and mostly clear skies. Black Shear at 58 degrees, Jessup at 58 degrees, Darien at 59 degrees over towards Rinkin. You're coming in at 50 degrees tonight. Pembroke at 57 degrees and Pooler 58 degrees. Bluffton 58 degrees and Ridgeland also at 58 degrees. Now tomorrow, Monday, 76 to 86 is a general temperature range, mostly sunny and warm. Your average high should be 78 degrees. So we are going to be above that once again. Now your beach and boating forecast for Monday shows that there's a low rip risk. However, there's a moderate chop on the water uh, 20 miles out or so. High tide it comes in at 108 and low tide tomorrow night at 702. If you're like me, dealing with these uh, allergies, pollen forecast remaining high throughout the entire a four day period that I show there and it looks like that will continue beyond the four day period. Now on the seven day forecast again tomorrow I'm keeping us quiet and dry, but once we get to Tuesday and Wednesdays that front gets closer to us from the north. That's what should spark a couple of afternoon showers and thunderstorms, none of which right now look severe, but still some showers and thunderstorms in the mix. Then on Thursday and Friday that front will be far enough north, but we actually have a sea, bre sea breeze front move in. And that should produce a couple of showers and thunderstorms during the afternoon, but they're only a 20% chance there. Notice the temperatures climbing up to near 90 degrees, possibly by the end of the week. And then we have another cold front to arrive next weekend, probably a week from today. And that could produce maybe some stronger storms with a temperature of 83 degrees. That's a look at the seven day forecast. Have a great night and a great week, everyone. Dale.